And I said, we need to build a wall. A wall. What is up my dink memers, jamie 3 and 4 here and I finally have time to do a legitimate video today. So in the past I promised a top 5 assault rifles list, and here it is. But just a note, beforehand these guns are the ones I personally think are the top 5. Every player has different opinions and that's great. Feel free to comment your top 5s if you disagree with anything, but without further ado, let's talk about my favorite dank assault rifles. So for number 5 on the list we have the AK-47. The AK-47 has a high damage output that can 3-shot enemies at almost any range which is why players love the gun so much. It carries a standard 30 rounds in the magazine and has decent mobility. The only cons for the gun which brought down the AK-47 to the number 5 spot is the fact that it has tons of recoil that takes a lot of practice to get used to. It's also weird how the AK-47 has so much recoil since it shares the lowest RPM of 600 with the AKM. And since the AK's recoil can make you waste bullets as well as using 7.62 rounds, which are very scarce out in the battlefield, you might struggle to find ammunition when you need it the most. Overall, the AK-47 is a gun that takes a lot of effort to use, but it's really rewarding when you learn how to deal with recoil and when you dish out 3-shot kills consistently. If you do not like dealing with recoil, the next gun is perfect for you. Number 4 on the list is the AKM. The AKM can be thought as a new and improved AK-47. It has recoil that goes back to where it was before it fires another round, and it deals 40 damage per shot instead of the AK-47's 42, but the fact that it's very stable when firing just makes it a lot better. Just like the AK-47, the AKM carries 30 rounds in the magazine, shoots 600 rounds per minute, and it's really hard to find ammunition for the weapon at times. If you can't control the AK-47 or simply want to mow down targets without resisting recoil, the AKM is a perfect replacement that I personally enjoy myself. For number 3 we have the AUG A3. The A3 typically 4 to 5 shots enemies depending on the distance, but you will always find yourself getting easy kills since it's a bullpuff rifle overall. The gun is very stable when fully spraying with its high RPM of 720. It has 30 rounds in the magazine and you will be very mobile when running with this gun. The insane part is the A3's rounds have the same bullet drop as the Intervention, yes the Sniper, meaning it's amazing at picking off enemies at long range if you can tap shoot very well. The only cons that suck about the AUG A3 is the fact that you have to reload but it's really slow. I found myself loathing at the sluggish reload time and would find myself switching to the secondary very often when running out of ammo in the magazine. But overall, the gun is great and it single-handedly brought me to level 60 because I really thought the gun was the best during the time. Try it out yourself, you might fall in love with it. <laughs> it's time to stop! It's time to stop, okay? No more! For number 2 on the list, we have my favorite American weapon of the game which is the M16A3. It's basically an AUG A3 that is unlocked earlier in the game and overall performs a lot better. The weapon 4 to 5 shots enemies with a high RPM of 800 rounds making it amazing at close quarters. But don't be fooled, you can literally spray enemies across the map because this weapon is so stable, especially once you buy attachments for the weapon. My favorite trait about the M16A3 is it reloads so swiftly which keeps you longer in the fight and most importantly doesn't make you rely on your secondary switching as much. It also uses the 5.56 ammo which means you'll be finding rounds easily. The only con I can think of is it's awkward to use without attachments, but once again, you can still perform good with it if you get used to it. Overall, it's just a good gun. Use it. Of course, the number one gun you all should use is the butt-kicking AUG A1. On paper, the A1 looks normal as it 4-5 shots enemies, has 30 rounds in the magazine, and has a decent RPM of 680. But don't be fooled, the AUG A1 has no recoil whatsoever and there's little bullet drop so it feels like you're firing lasers from this crazy gun. It also has a tight group of bullets in full auto and it comes with two optics which makes it amazing at any range since you can switch between the two. The only catch is it has a reasonably slow reload which is necessary as it would just be too OP without it. And the fact that it only costs 5000 credits or is unlocked by level 20 just makes it a lot easier to obtain such a great weapon. 
If you haven't used the Yage one yet, try it out, and you'll find yourself demolishing the opposition. Just do it, mate. Do it! Just do it! The wall! Guys, this is super serial. If you drop a like right now, yes, right now, we will build a wall to keep Trump away from Mexico. No joke, no lie, 8 out of 8, trust me, mate. Okay, no, but for real. Thanks so much for watching. I'm pretty sure you guys noticed the boost in audio quality, and I hope you guys really like it. If you think I should list anything else that should be altered, then feel free to comment of what you think. But anyways, I'm Jimmy34, and I still... Love dank memes. Have a great one, everybody.